Hello, everyone, and welcome in. I am so excited to be with you here this evening. My name is Julia Flynn Worry, and I've been with APL Go since July of 2020. And boy, has it been amazing. From the very onset of being introduced to these products, the first one I used was part of the kit that we're going to talk about tonight, which is RLX. Um, on through to Bro and GTS. We'll talk about them, I think, tonight as well. But you know what? I was a late to the party arriver for the Power Apricot. So to me, hearing more and more about these incredible drops and more and more about the products that I personally am using and sharing with others is so exciting. So the person who's going to share this with us tonight is remarkable. And I know that everyone who comes on is here just to hear Mary Esther Gilbert share her incredible, vast knowledge about the ingredients, the products, the technology, and how everything fits together. So being here with Mary Esther Gilbert is one of the most exciting ways to spend a Monday evening. And of course, I know all of you watch this in replay. Take your notes and get all of your questions answered. So the first thing I recommend is Hurry, quick, fast, in a hurry, text everyone who needs to be here right now so they can get their questions answered in real time. Secondly, grab your notebook, your behind the science notebook and your special pen and pencil and make sure that you're taking notes because this is always going to be incredible. And now I'm going to turn it over to Mary Esther Gilbert to tell you a little bit about what she wants you to know about herself. Welcome in, Mary Esther. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. You don't know how much I really enjoy doing this. This is what I do. And I research information and I share the heck out of it with as many people as possible. And I love APL for allowing me to do this for you because that makes you better associates, right? Better um, able to describe the products to people with all kinds of questions. I'm, I'm hoping that all the information I've been giving everyone over these past three years, what, four years now, Julia, oh my goodness, four years. <laughs> and I'm hoping that I've been of some help that way. Um, if you could let me know with a thumbs up or something, uh, you know, I'd really appreciate it. Because yeah, you um, know what, everybody put in a heart and a thumbs up and a clap for all that Mary Esther has done for us. Because has uh, everybody who's here just improved their business over time because of everything she's done for us? Absolutely. So yeah, that's exactly right, Mary Esther. Yay. I'm so glad. It's so gratifying. And I'll continue to do this with more and more people as time goes on. So yeah, bring everybody on board, you guys, because I have I got um, a presentation for you. I was so excited putting this together. So anyway, I'm going to share my screen and stop talking about that. Uh, let's see. It looks like host disabled participant screen sharing. So am I able to oh, share screen, Julia? I apologize. Hold just one second here. Let me see. That's okay. Um, it's fun to see everybody. Oh, host all participants. There we go. It should. Okay, I think, great. Is that working now? Uh, let's try it here. Yay. That's Looks that way. Oh, what okay, a beautiful great. bird. Oh, I love, I just gather as many as different uh, pictures as I can. It just makes me smile to see it, you know, go through my slides on my computer. Look at that. One. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy breathtaking, isn't it? I know yeah. what I heard for that, but that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I just collect beautiful pictures, you know. So anyhow, all right. So you have questions for me and if you want me to just go through them or if you don't want, if you want to ask the questions, we'll just go right through it in the order that I received them. And that's how I laid it out. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah, I would like to ask you these questions. I have to uh, say thank you so much to my team, Team No Limits, uh, to all of the wonderful members who contributed their uh, their questions. I had questions from, I know a friend of yours, uh, Michelle Meadows and Linda McBee and also um, Mary, Mary Ann Pageant uh, from Canada. We had a lot of members asking questions and here is the first one. How is Power for Women able to help those with menopause and those young women who are still uh, menstruating, how that are still cycling. How is it possible that it can work for both of us? And is there a specific ingredient in it for each? And if so, how is the body affected by things that it doesn't need? I think that's an amazing question. That came from Michelle. Okay, great. Yeah, that wasn't with the original questions, but they fit right in. I can go ahead and just go ahead and, and uh, proceed because it's going to answer that those wonderful questions. They're great questions. Fantastic. So first of all, 
Yeah, I mean, hot flashes nowadays, they start with teenagers. It's really sad. It used to just happen to uh, menopausal or, or you know premenopausal women. But even then, hot flashes are not normal. They are the result of how your blood vessels are not able to, um, to pump enough blood through and circulation through. And, um, or they're also able to, uh, they're also, the hormones are affected by how this does this because your blood flow is circulating hormones everywhere as well. And if your hormones are not functioning properly, then there's going to be some side effects. So let's just talk about the hot flashes and they're also called vasomotor symptoms or VMSs. So what they are basically is just an onset of all these episodes of perspiration and you're gonna feel like warmth on the chest and the neck and the face and with heart palpitations and increased heart rate, uh, it raises the blood pressure, you know, and sometimes people get, as a result of this raised blood pressure, they get headaches and then um, they have they feel tired because it can, it, uh, it requires so much metabolic energy, you know, to deal with this extra heat. And then they're going to feel faint. Uh, and of course, it's going to cause anxiety, but also stress and anxiety in life in general will shift the hormones and cause these kinds of, uh, of uh, conditions in the body as well. So first, I'm going to describe what all of these um, conditions are. And just know that in this, in this presentation, there's going to be some amazing solutions in this women's vitality kit. Okay, so that's what a hot flash is, all right? Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a little bit more here that you can read later, but I'm always pressed for time, Julia. I always try to condense it into that one hour time frame, and I always run out of time. This is why I produce these documents. It so, is um, so helpful to have these documents like that. So triggered by warm environments, hot drinks, emotional stress. I, I see that there. That is really powerful for us. Are you suggesting that we should drink cooler drinks? Is that what I'm gathering? Not necessarily. No, this is, these are just the symptoms, you know, the result of a shift in, in lack of nutrients and uh, lacking a lot of things. We'll be talking about that. So, you know, we're going to solve the hot flash problem tonight. Okay. <laughs> All right. And we're going to prevent it in, in uh, the younger women who are, are just headed toward that way. Hot flashes are abnormal. Just know that. And I, for one, never had a hot flash, you know, when I exercise, I sweat, but uh, normally when, you, when you're when you just sitting down, minding your own business, all of a sudden you get a hot flash, right? And it's uh, very upsetting and very uh, disturbing and very embarrassing sometimes because you're sitting there trying to fan yourself and trying to, to maintain your composure. I never actually uh, you know, had one. And I think it's because of all of the knowledge that I've applied to myself. And ever since then, man, I just went on this rampage of sharing that information to a lot of people. So um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, um, there's a lot of things that can happen. You know, you cannot live your life in peace when you have these uh, these kinds of things going on with a hot flash. So yeah, so what causes them? All right, so we're gonna get into the research here. Everything I present here is, is because of peer-reviewed studies, many, many studies that were selected as the, the most uh, credible studies. Okay, I always have to say that so that we know that we're not uh, practicing medicine without a license. We're gonna be mentioning symptoms and things like that, but it's always nutrition-based at the cell level. All right, so then we've got um, the VMS, which occurs from a malfunction of the body's thermoregulatory function. So how your body regulates heat, right? So we've got the hormones of neurotransmitters in the nervous system. They're actually regulated by the ovarian hormone called the estrogen, and everyone's familiar with that norepinephrine, serotonin neurotransmitters, those are the ones that regulate mood, sleep, wake, wake cycles, and sleep is extremely important. We'll be covering that soon. Memory, alertness, attention, appetite, behavior, and your libido. So um, we're going to be balancing everything out to solve all of these problems. Okay. So then we've got research that also indicates that um, it's associated with higher risks of cardiac conditions and even osteoporosis, where the bones no longer maintain their solidity and they become more and more uh, parodic, you know, uh, more easily broken. Um, so yeah, we, we can uh, cut all of that out so that you do not have to worry about that either. So it's all about putting all the puzzle pieces together to, to make sure you've got a, a wonderful female balanced body, right? 
So then we've got more research, you know, it's talking about the certain enzyme pathways of all these bioactive molecules. And, uh, you know, there's multiple trillions of biochemical pathways and biochemicals that scientists over time have discovered and labeled. So we've got the kiss pepim GNRH pathway. Um, this is the having to do with how your body um, produces hormones from your fat in your body fat certain estrogen types of hormones. Estrogen is kind of an umbrella term, so there's many different kinds of estrogens. Inflammatory and all these oxidative stress biomarkers. So when you have a, a like a, when you go to the doctor and you have laboratory tests and they find all these biomarkers, uh, indicators that something is wrong, right? And it's uh, a lot of them can be detected in the blood. Glucose utilization, you know, all these things, certain kinds of foods uh, that stimulate uh, this chain reaction that leads to hot flashes. Um, and so the body produces all kinds of inflammatory proteins, you know, to, to try to deal with it and try to stop it. So yeah, um, menopausal women are, are unfortunately doing the wrong things in order to, I mean, that's why they have the hot flashes. So, I mean, normally they say they last from four to 20 or 30 years. Oh my goodness. People are suffering unnecessarily out there. Let's just stop it. Okay. Let's just stop it. So then we've got um, all these, you know, endocrine, neuroendocrine, and epigenetic actions. These are different uh, hormones, changes in how the gene functions at the DNA level. Uh, so, I mean, they can be altered also from, from stress reactors, you know, behavior, environmental influences like uh, synthetic uh, pesticides and, and uh, body, all these synthetics and body care products and things like that. All right, so then it's triggered by changes in body temperature, right? Stimulating the hypothalamus gland, and that's a very important gland. Um, so it directs uh, these estrogen levels. So it's responsible for producing these estrogen levels and regulating them, uh, and also to stimulate the blood vessels, whether they're going to open up or close down. Um, so your body tries to cool itself off as much as possible so it opens up the blood vessels. And so, and then you've got the sweat glands that are stimulated to produce more sweat. All right. And then the body temperature changes, you know, all these uh, neurotransmitters and the hormone serotonin, and that plays a role in mood, sleep, bone health, libido, digestion, wound healing, and also the adrenaline hor uh, hormone, noradrenaline. So all those things play a role in this fight or flight response. So your body thinks that it's an emergency, right? And it's going to uh, to feel anxiety, and uh, all of a sudden you you just feel like uh, there's just the stress is overwhelming kind of feeling. So that's the fight or flight response. So here's a nice little chart. Uh, I'll enlarge it really quickly here, and that's just kind of a review of what we just talked about. You know, um, it has to do with glucose availability, and um, and also depending on skin color. We'll go after that uh, in a, in a moment. And then how the body fat uh, derives all these different hormones, uh, you know, during the stress reaction, and then the pathways of different types of uh, of hormones as well, and how it deals with all these different uh, nutrients that uh, your body needs in order to regulate these these pathways and prevent hot flash. And then we've got all these different hormones here too, and uh, a lot of different uh, phytonutrient compounds, the phenolic compounds that are abundant in the drops. Um, I mean, they're just all over in the plant kingdom. Then we've got all these flavonoids that are in the drops, the apigenins, the epicatechins, resveratrol, chrysin, and quercetin. I'm sure you've seen all of these phytonutrients that I've already you know, mentioned many times uh, in these presentations and in the slideshow. Okay, so then we've got you know all these receptor signalings. So everything is happening all at once. Your body goes into emergency mode. It detects an abnormal condition and immediately tries to cool things down. You know, that's hence the sweat. So then, you know, a lot of people try the breathing exercises, relaxation techniques, dietary improvements. All of these things are very valuable to helping to control this biofeedback mechanism to help you control things. Flexibility, improving, improving movements to increase the, uh, the circulatory, you know, system. So you're delivering more nutrients. Um, and if you're drinking plenty of water, then you'll be able to to neutralize a lot of the inflammatory responses and get those nutrients to the body, which help you know correct a lot of these mechanisms. You've got acupuncture and reflexology and even hypnosis. So these are 
other modalities that people have tried, but they're really not addressing the fundamental cause, you know, which is nourishment, hydration, and a lot of other things that would we'll be going over. And this is still answering question number one, Julia, in case you're wondering. Okay, so then uh, you asked I, about the. Can I ask you? Can I ask you a quick question there? Um, can I go back up to your, up a little bit up in your slide, real quick? Um, sure. It, right here we have um, all of these different um, receptor receptor signaling and modulating nutrients and things like that. So all of those nutrients will help people when they're having a hot flash. Absolutely, they will prevent the hot flash. Okay. Prevent because. A hot flash. Okay. These are nutrients that'll calm down the systems because the, the system calms down when the nutrients are present because it knows how to repair and uh, properly regenerate everything. And just to keep the nervous system functioning optimally and preventing a lot of these uh, inflammatory responses. So yeah, these are just some of the nutrient factors that contribute toward just balancing and bringing the body back to its ho normal homeostasis, you know? And I can see that, and I'm sure that the, anyone who is actually currently using the product uh, will recognize a lot of those words, a lot on that list. And if this is your first time being exposed to any of our products, um, when you look at that list, really notice that you'll see those those same words again and again. So thank you so much, Mary Esther. I just wanted to get a quick clarification there. Thank you. Oh, great. I welcome questions. Yeah, interrupt me anytime. It's fine. <laughs> But yeah, um, I also put in, I don't know if you all have seen the 18, um, you know, uh, drops that I put, put together in one slideshow, which I presented in Texas, and then they had me redo it uh, as, a, as a recording, you know, to cover all 18. Uh, so those list all of the micronutrient compounds that are in all these botanicals in all the formulations. So we'll, I, I inserted them here in this document because even though you can see them in the video, I think it's nice to be able to, to print it out or just look at it on your computer more closely, you know, and uh, see it more clearly. So they are in this document. We'll be getting to that soon. So then, of course, uh, having hot flashes will affect your sleep cycles and uh, affect your, how your body utilizes fats and sugars. So uh, it can help with weight loss and, and just overall weight management. You can master your weight. Can, does that sound great to everybody? Just master your weight so that if you could put on a few pounds, uh, if you feel like overeating in the holidays, you know you can burn it back off. You're right. So, I mean, you don't want to, of course, make it a habit of overeating like that, but choosing a uh, the raw enzyme active foods and the drops contain enzymes that help break down these kinds of things that the body uh, tends to, to store away kind of thing. So um, it all comes together, you know, just to make sure that you're putting in all the nutrient factors into your diet every single day. Uh, and these drops certainly go a long way to, to, to help with that. So anyway, sleeping is very critical for weight loss. You know, people think, well, how, what does that have to do with anything? Well, it has to do with the kinds of hormones the body produces when you don't get enough sleep. So the body detects stress. If, you, if it doesn't have a chance to rest and recuperate and regenerate itself and correct anything, detoxify, you know, all kinds of things it does when you're sleeping, uh, which it does best while you're sleeping, then, of course, it's some things are going to go wrong. And that includes the hormones that regulate your, your body fat and therefore body weight. And don't confuse building muscle mass, you know, a little bit of weight training, uh, more for the men, but you know, for women too. And at any age, no matter, even if you're 99 years old and you start a weight training program, however light the weights might be, it still stimulates uh, the growth hormone, which helps you uh, retain the muscles, you know, the muscle strength and the muscle endurance and that kind of thing. So all kinds of research has been done on uh, everyone from all ages and all uh, and all physical abilities kind of thing. So that's really important. So anyway, sleep duration, um, a short sleep duration increases obes obesity risk for, the, for those reasons. And then restricting your sleep leads to overeating because you feel tired and you can't, uh, not, not always can, uh, you always tell the difference between uh, being actually hungry or fatigued. When people feel fatigued, they feel like they need to eat to raise their energy levels, right? But that's not always the case. So, um, and then they've got lowered glucose tolerance. The pancreas gets confused and starts secreting all these all this insulin to the bloodstream, overtaxing it, 
And then pretty soon, if you're not nourished properly, you can't take that insulin out of the bloodstream. You go into insulin shock, you know, all these other things that happen in the diabetes conditions. Or even if it's a pre-diabetic condition, your pancreas is getting pretty tired, right? So uh, all the nutrients that we'll be talking about will help correct those mechanisms at the cell level. It's information that the DNA needs to regulate everything and make everything function properly, even with the, the uh, regulation of how your body uses glucose or blood sugar. Okay, so then um, your regular sleep patterns, uh, you know, and even if you toss and turn at night and you're not getting a full night's sleep or think you're not, sometimes you fall into, into a sleep pattern, but you're semi-conscious and you think you're not sleeping, but it's not in a deep REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep which occurs every four hours when you're sleeping. So getting yourself to the point where you're, you're already sleeping at least four hours to get one uh, REM cycle is goes a long way toward repairing things in the body and, and balancing the hormones, okay? All right, so then, um, I mean, if you're not getting sleep, your, your body's gonna be producing the cortisol, which is a hormone that, uh, that interferes with how your body utilizes fats. So yeah. Uh, if you have proper and regular sleep habits, you go to bed early enough so that you get a, a full night's sleep, then uh, you're going to have a greater success with your weight and fat loss. So to me, body weight isn't the uh, the main thing to, to focus on. Burning off that excess fat is uh, the healthiest way to, to lose the weight. And it happens gradually. There's no such thing as losing, you know, seven pounds in one day. That's just, that's all body uh, water you know, losing like that. And that's, that can be dangerous. All right. Then you've got, you know, all these different uh, health issues because um, of the uh, not having the right kind of sleep. And uh, so it's increased after menopause. So after the menses cease, then they're going to be more, more susceptible to these kinds of problems. So the vasomotor symptoms, VMS or hot flashes, they've been linked to just how your body uh, doesn't norm uh, doesn't um, doesn't use fats properly, so you've got abnormal lipids, you know, and insulin resistance, where the you know the body just can't take that sugar out of the bloodstream, no matter how much insulin the pancreas shoots in there, which is dangerous. Um, increased risk for hypertension, you know, and even calcification of the blood vessels, the aorta, the major you know, blood vessel, reducing blood flow through the heart's aortic valve is what happens. And then, uh, especially in the overweight or obese women. So all these things are, are potentially you know, endangering health, but uh, just know that there is help. There is a way to reverse this and to correct this that kind of thing at the, at the, uh, the DNA cell level. And then, uh, of course, exercise is going to shift your whole metabolism and, and utilize nutrients so much more efficiently. So, uh, and even the way the body stores fat, you know, it's not going to store fat as readily. It's going to need those dietary fats or even body, uh, body fat stores to strengthen uh, your cells and to produce hormones. There's a lot of things that your body does with fat, uh, but anything excess is going to be stored in the form of the body fat, okay? So yeah, they're talking about the, the fat burning exercises, the aerobic exercises, and then the visceral fat that forms around the organs that you can't see, you know, um, it will increase. And while your lean body mass, including your muscles, will decrease uh, during these transitions into menopause. And then uh, there's always the increased risk of mortality unless you engage in regular physical activity. So there's a, there's a difference between a physical activity, physical exercise. So we'll be getting into that soon as well. So, um, you know, in order to exercise, you've got to replenish and nourish. So you have enough energy to exercise so you can burn off the fat, okay? A lot of my clients used to say, I get to eat all this. Well, half of it is, you know, almost no calories, but nutrient rich and enzyme active. So yeah, you get to eat a lot of this, right? Uh, a little bit of the animal dry proteins and the right types of fats with a balance of, of animal fats and plant fats. So if you balance all of that uh, with every almost every meal, you know, uh, for the most part, and you'll have enough energy and your body will will repair a lot of things. So you'll have you'll you'll be feeling a lot better. Right. And uh, pretty soon you'll say, hey, I feel like exercising. I think I'll try a little bit. Don't overdo it at first. You know, the body is very um, adaptive to exercise, but if you bombard it with too much exercise, 
it's not going to be good. You know, uh, you might injure yourself and you might get too sore and you'll get very discouraged or you might even get sick, you know, because it's going to stir up any stored toxins uh, and your heart will be taxed and your, your lungs will be taxed. So that if that's just way too much uh, at the beginning and just ease into it gradually, check with your doctor, make sure it's safe for you to do so. All right. Um, so when someone, uh, when their menstruation ceases, then this kind of hormone production will affect your bone density. So you've got to exercise to maintain your bone density, especially the weight resistance exercises. I don't want you to be, you know, a power lifter or a heavy lifting bodybuilder or anything like that. But even a small amount of weight training is going to uh, retain a lot of your bone density. And then the third part of your question is the sleep and anti-aging. Yes, like I said, sleep is very important. And so physically aging, you know, you've got this progressive decline and loss of physical abilities. Over time, you get weaker and weaker and uh, things like that. So then it's just what's happening is your cells are not replicating uh, in the quality that they were when, when you were younger. And so you've got all this instability that's, that's occurring at the cell level, and therefore it's uh, affecting the macro level where the tissues are, the organs and tissues and cell and structures, you know, like the, the bones and the ligaments and in the, uh, the cartilage and things like that. So all these different structures are going to be affected. Um, so that's why it's important to exercise again. And then one more thing, Julia, <laughs> before we go on, uh, the, the, if everyone has heard of the telomeres, so um, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, the companies out there are are um, selling their products based on, oh, you know, keep your telomeres intact. Uh, so if you don't know what those are, so these are the telomeres here that I'm pointing to at the um, at the ends here. They're, they're depicted in red. So this is a chromosome. OK, and so at the ends here, it's like a little cap. So when these cells replicate, then the DNA is protected. So if you over time uh not exercising not not eating right not sleeping right then uh this will be shortened it'll get smaller and smaller and smaller and that's depicted on this chart on the left here so here's the chromosome and here are the telomeres so here's your cell right and as time goes on mm -hmm. as the cells start replicating then over time then there's not going to be anything left there and the cell will die if that happens on a massive scale with our multiple trillions of cells as you age and, and if uh, you know, you're not nourishing the body properly, et cetera, then that's what's going to be happening. And that's called aging. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is a good biomarker for aging. So people can, uh, can you know, have their tests done. I don't don't ask me how the, the doctors, uh, you know, can do that or the laboratories will tell. I guess they have to look in the microscopes. I don't know how they do that. But uh, the length of the telomere does become shorter over time. And um, the lower and smaller the telomere levels, then the cell replication, like I said, it becomes arrested and then the cell stops dividing and then it dies off. Okay. So the, uh, the enzyme telomerase, it actually rebuilds the telomeric ends. And so uh, in order to, for your body to produce the right enzymes, different kinds of, uh, so many different vast amounts of enzymes that do different jobs that stimulate the, they're actually catalysts for all these biochemical reactions that happen in the body. So the, um, the body has to produce all of these enzymes and it can only do that if you ingest raw foods. You know, those are enzyme active and the only supplement in the world that have that has the viable nutrient compounds uh, that then it's also enzyme active and light energy active. That's very important. I've mentioned that before. Uh, then are the drops, the APL go drops. They're the only supplement I have ever seen that is actually a living, live, uh, active kind of supplement. So it'll give you the enzymes that you need at the DNA level to uh, to utilize all the phytonutrient compounds and other nutrients that are in these plant materials in the in the botanicals in the drops. All right, uh, and then, you know, of course, one if second. you're under stress. I, I got sure. I got to stop you there for one quick second. And I absolutely, wrote absolutely. Chat. I just put this into the chat. The only, let's recap that, the only enzyme and light energy, so the only enzyme active and light energy active supplements in the world are our DNA drops. Is that correct? That's as far as I can tell. Yes, I've been looking at supplements, Julia, for 45 years. And uh, they, some of these, uh, you know, better formulations, they put uh, enzymes from certain uh, fruits 
in their formulations, but when they process them, I question how uh, active they end up being because they do have to process them, you know, and so if they're undergoing any kind of heat processing, uh, enzymes are very, very fragile. It only takes 100 degrees to kill them and 212 degrees is boiling temperature. So even sauteing, you know, vegetables, which you shouldn't do uh, with oils, by the way, and that's a whole nother, you know, tangent there. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, temperature, <laughs> if you if you heat the, uh, the foods that contain active enzymes, then it kills the enzymes. You yeah, know, then your body has to make up for it. Thank you for thank you for recapping that because that literally uh, one of the girls says Julie says drop the mic and Sherry says absolutely incredible and in assisting the lengthening of our DNA telomeres. This is huge anti aging news. So thank you. We we just had to take a second there and breathe on that one. Continue. Isn't We're that, excited. We're loving this. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I, I've had a lot of black tea today. <laughs> So I'm feeling exceptionally uh, hyperactive too. So that's not helping me. I'm trying to slow down and calm down. <laughs> All right. So then um, let's talk a little bit about the sleep loss and the sleep disturbances. Okay. Because that was part of your question, sleep and anti-aging. So yeah, if you don't want to age rapidly, get enough sleep for heaven's sake. You know? I know we're busy and I know sometimes we get excited with the work that we do or we're under a lot of stress and we have trouble sleeping, but um you know, if you exercise regularly and, and you're nourishing your body and you've had a full day, trust me, when you hit that pillow, you are out. OK, so, uh, yeah, that's what helps uh, help sleep with sleep, improve your sleep patterns, too. All right. So uh, cell damage and impairment of cells repair and restoration mechanisms. So, yeah, that's what happens when you don't sleep enough. You, your body can't repair itself and restore itself. Telomere loss, cell senescence. You know, that means that the cells can't replicate anymore. And so uh, once the cell gets that far, then it can't come back. Um, yeah, and, and there's a dividing line in time where you can save it or you cannot, where it's too late, right? So I, I think a lot of people out there with the DNA drops and the right uh, dietary measures and all of the above that I've mentioned, if you uh, change your lifestyle to take better care of your, your body, which is truly amazing. The body is just so impressive, uh, infinitely, you know, complex. But all we have to do is, is nourish it properly, right? So anyhow, we can uh, reverse that, that senescence or the, the progression towards senescence. And it's not, it's not talking about senility, <laughs> that's different, but uh, they call that when the cell starts to die and it's a reverse, irreversible. So once the cell divides itself, I mean, every cell in the body takes a little bit longer, a different, uh, they divide themselves at different rates. So skin cells are much faster than bone cells and hair growth, things like that, you know. So then uh, if it divides itself 50 to 70 times during its the cell's life cycle, uh, then, then it's done. Unless you're highly nourished, you can prolong that process. So this is like the average uh, kind of uh, research that found you know, and, and all these test subjects, and that's kind of like an average number. So um, sleep loss changes in mitochondria and energy production. So that's why you feel tired when you don't get enough sleep uh, and your body hasn't had a chance to regenerate itself and recharge, literally, you know. And uh, so it affects the mitochondria. We we ingest mitochondria from the, the plant materials in, uh, the, it's in the APL drops. It's already, we don't have to digest it. It's already there. It's already active. Our, it enters our cell membranes. Our DNA reads the segments of plant, you know, uh, genetic codes, splices out what it needs, repairs what it needs in our DNA. Plants are amazing. We are so compatible with plants. All right. And then the immune cells, they, um, if, you're, if they're nourished properly, their DNA is going to be functioning optimally. So they can recognize these conditions as a danger signal. And, uh, if, it's, if not, then you're going to have a lot of inflammatory responses because our hormones and our nervous system and the immune system always monitor things. Uh, so whenever there's any kind of danger signals, then it's going to mobilize inflammatory forces, you know, and that lets you know in the form of pain or discomfort what uh, that there's something wrong. If we didn't have that mechanism, then, you know, we would just uh, kill ourselves off. <laughs> we would never know that something was broken or something was, was malfunctioning in the body. So then, uh, of course, the damage occurs when there's tissue injury. And um, normally, uh, when you're undergoing wound repair like that, 
uh, you know, that's a normal thing. But when there's persistent cellular damage at the micro level, then you're going to have inflammatory responses. The immune system is going to come around and say, okay, we need to do something about this, you know. Then we've got the degenerative health process that's leading to, uh, that, that can lead to just ultimate system failure. If you allow your body to continue to, de to degenerate and not replenish it properly, then it's going to have a system failure in one form or, or another, you know, and uh, you're going to have a lot of uh, cell death called apoptosis or at the macro level, tissue death, necrosis. So then uh, fragmented sleep also alters your endocrine and other metabolic processes. So endocrine meaning the glands and the hormones that every gland produces. So uh, so the sympathetic nervous system is activated. It uh, responds to all these stressful or dangerous situations. So it's a fight or flight syndrome kind of feeling. Uh, and then uh, while that's happening, we've got the glucocorticoid actions that uh, actually uh, will release energy to fuel these increased metabolic stresses. And so that also taxes the mitochondria and its ability to produce, uh, you know, the right amounts of energy to do to do the work of just maintenance, you know, let alone uh, trying to deal with something that's wrong in the body. So then that leads to the body producing all these uh, free radicals. And one of them is called the reactive oxygen species. And that can be a good sign or not. Uh, the ROS is produced in the body when there is some kind of damage. So if you're injured, you know, you've ruptured your tissues or something and the body's undergoing repair work, then it's going to send in a lot of white blood cells. There's going to be a lot of ROS present. But if you've got that, that, uh, that chronic problem, then the ROS becomes a problem. You know, it'll disrupt this electron transport chain where uh, the body changes from one form of biochemical to another or a nutrient to another, you know, kind of molecule that the body uses in, in multiple trillions, right? So there's all these processes going on. So we want to avoid um, just uh, that rampant ROS. And that damages the DNA, you know, uh, and shortens the telomeres, causes cellular senescence. And then we've got this other, you know, wonderful enzyme that the body produces called superoxide dismutase. So that's an enzyme in all the living cells, and that helps break down all these potentially harmful tissue, dam tissue damaging oxygen free radicals. Okay. And here's a little quote. Uh, I'm not going to read it. You can just kind of glance over it. I just want to make sure we've got enough time here. Uh, we're doing I okay. Gonna, I, think. I was just going to say we're just about we're we've got about 20 minutes left. And I yeah. just wanted to ask if it's okay. Um, so the actual um, products that are in the kit, that are in the women's vitality kit, how do they work to counteract all of these issues like the weight gain and the lack of sleep and things like that? Are they, I, I think the biggest question that I get the most often is why are they put together in a kit? Are they working synergistically? and are they only for women or can men use them as well in terms of all of these um, these issues like sleep and weight loss and, and, and eating and things like that? Like how does the product impact these things? Yes, absolutely. Let's just jump down there because uh, you could just, we can go through that when we have time. So, so yeah, I mean, all of these different products, right? The Air, the Happy, the RLX, the Beauty, the Grow, the Heifer, and the power apricot. So let's just jump to those slides and that'll answer your question directly, Julia. All right, so uh, this is a slide, you might've seen this before in the videos. And uh, this is now in your PDF document that you can show people or you can print out, you know, and just hand out. But um, so yeah, these are all the phytonutrient compounds in all of these uh, botanicals. And they've added the vitamin C and D and zinc just for good measure to, uh, to make sure that your circulation is uh, delivering the nutrients and oxygenation and hydration, all of those things. Uh, um, when you do all of that, then you're going to be feeling very vibrant. You know, it's going to uh, to promote vitality. So all of these uh, circulatory things, self-cleansing, self-regenerating systems, these compounds are so important for helping the body do all that. And then clearing the respiratory pathways. And these are the compounds in these botanicals that um, this is a classification of many different botanical subclassifications, improving the immune system on all of this contributes toward the vitality, right? If you're not, if your body is not uh, optimally functioning, 
you're not going to feel very, very full of vitality at all. You're going to be fatigued and sick and, you know, just uh, uh, overwhelmed and stressed and all those kinds of things. So, uh, you know, yeah, these botanicals are full of every single one of these powerful compounds that have so much science behind them. Uh, it's not even funny. You can get lost in this labyrinth of science because plants have been examined for many, many decades, you know, for their, their uh, beneficial compounds. Anti-inflammatory. So anytime you have something that's flaring up in the body due to stress reactions or biochemical imbalances, then these wonderful little phytonutrient compounds are going to come along and uh, restore and repair the fundamental causes of all of these problems. Okay, so then we, we've got the beauty. The beauty, I mean, that's even better. It's got the immune system, detoxification, clearing things out, uh, again, rapid cell regeneration and repair, boosting the mitochondria. I need to uh, plug in my computer one second. That sounds good. While you do that, I'm going to ask you a quick question, which is yeah. you mentioned the lengthening of the telomeres. And so when I hear beauty and think anti-aging, does the, the BTY, does the BTY drop have any impact on the, or does air or any of our products have, which ones I guess have an impact on the lengthening of the telomeres? Because when you immediately said aging, I, I thought about BTY and wondered if there was a connection there. Absolutely. My computer is not charging one second. I need to make sure it's plugged in. No worries. I understand. I'm I'm sitting here looking at these incredible ingredients and what they all do. It amazes me that air, which is an anti-inflammatory, but that there's also in BTY, there's an anti-inflammatory and an antimicrobial. These individual products in and of themselves have such a myriad of of helpful things for our body. It surprises me because I don't look at them for those individual reasons. And then you read all about what the ingredients are and you can see how they, they work. Absolutely. So everything that we've gone over so far, these phytonutrient compounds have been shown through peer reviewed studies over time. That's very important uh, to correct so many of these things down to the DNA in our cells, in our bodies. That's why they work. You know, we're not going to be masking any symptoms. We're going to be going right to the problem and repairing the problem. And when you repair the problem and the cells are restored to, to regular optimal functioning, normal functioning, then you're not going to have all these health issues at all. Okay. So that's what I love about this. So yeah, the beauty does a lot, as you can see, you know, all these different uh, stabilizing stress reactions, cognition, that means it's nourishing the brain. You can think better, think more clearly, make better decisions, all those kinds of things. Uh, you know, balancing out the fluids, which means the vitamin and mineral balancing as well. All of these phytonutrient compounds assist every single biochemical process and every single uh, vitamin and mineral, you know, enzymes. They link up and, and uh, just, they are amazing. They are totally amazing. I can't even do it justice. Um, okay, so here are the different, uh, you know, hormonal systems, and I'm just going to name them really quickly. So these are the different glands. Uh, that the body has that produces different hormones, the pituitary and the hypothalamus, those are the master glands. They regulate all the other glands in the body. So here's a little uh, enlargement of the pituitary, which is right in the middle of the brain and uh, inside the head. And then the thyroid gland is right on the neck there. Parathyroids are behind it. Uh, and then we've got the, um, the thymus gland, which is a little bit lower down here. Uh, and then we've got the adrenal glands, you know, don't overtax your adrenals, don't overstress yourself, nourish, 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 rest, 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 hydrate, 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 you know. Uh, and then we've got the, uh, they, they've got another one for, on the adrenal gland. And if you look at the tissues, the histology of this is just amazing, especially when they blow it up, you know, many thousands of times magnification. That's when you really get an appreciation as to why it's so important to nourish the body properly. We've got the pancreas, you know. Uh, again, so many different nutrients will help uh, regulate the pancreatic uh, functions and then the ovaries, um, you know, but once, you know, women run out of, of uh, eggs, then it's menopause time, but you don't have to have hot flashes. You can still maintain a youthful life and youthful appearance with all of the factors that you need to do to put it all together. 
And I just wanted to include this chart of hormone function. So uh, again, it lists all the different glands that you saw in the, in the photos. And then the individual ones get to know these hormones. You know, they're they're uh, they might be intimidating at first because of the long terms. You know, but um, once you understand more and more about how your body works, it's much easier to nourish it, right? And to stick to a highly <laughs> highly nourishing, uh, you know, uh, routine. This is an incredible chart. I, I I don't know if everybody else is saying like I, I'm enthralled by this chart. It's so exciting to read all of this and learn all this. I did have a question from someone recently, and I thought this was a really important question to answer publicly. None of our products include actual hormones, correct? Oh, correct. We don't need uh, to ingest you know, hormones from animals or laboratory made synthetics or anything like that, because I mean, I'm not making a, a medical claim or anything. Of course, always go through your doctor, we have to say that. But I have found that when you ingest all these plant sterols, they're different from steroids. I produced a whole video on that on my YouTube channel, by the way. Look at it if you haven't. It's really important to know the difference. Not be afraid of plant sterols because they're all, in, all, all over nature and they're abundant in a lot of these and most of these foods. So they're all precursors to all the hormones that the body has to make, both men and women. And to answer your question you posed earlier, but yes, these compounds, uh, your your uh, genetic makeup and your gender knows exactly what to do from the, our DNA instructions to uh, to produce the right biochemicals in the body and the right hormones. All of that, you know, uh, if you're a man, you're going to naturally produce more testosterone. If you're a woman, you're going to have should have a balance of, of testosterone, progesterone, and estrogens. Okay, so um, and, and again, eating right, exercising, sleeping, doing all of that will fix 99% of, of the problems. And that's, I'm quoting Linus Pauling, you know, two-time uh, uh, Nobel Peace Prize winner. He said that, I have always quoted him ever since I saw him say that, you know, 99% of all health issues are because of nutrient deficiencies. And I have found that to be true. And then that's, we're solidly backed by the, the multitude of scientific research studies that have been done over decades. All right, so then we've got the, the grow, you know, um, Again, there's that mitochondria energy production. This time we've got adenosine, and that's part of the molecule that produces energy in the mitochondria. So we've got immune cell production. I mean, all of these types of, um, well, T cells and macrophages, they are, are fueled by the saponins, the triterpenes, polysaccharides, flavonoids, and these are major uh, classifications. I can't fit everything in these slides. They're just way too many, you know? But yeah, any anytime you have um, anything that's discussed at the beginning of this document, you will find if you go through these slides of all of the um, the vitality kit, then you'll see what I mean. These plants will help normalize a lot of these things simply by nourishing the cells and uh, restoring optimal functioning. So that's the heifer, and then we've got the happy. You know, of um, literally. It, it contains compounds that that elevate moods, not putting you on a drug high or anything, but uh, when you've got a cleanse system that's circulating properly and oxygenating and delivering nutrients properly, everything is going to make you feel so much better. You know, it's actually going to elevate you. And so these are the the, uh, the compounds that are on, in all of these different uh, formulations. I mean, these, these, these different uh, botanicals. All right, uh, so yeah, the curcuminoids, those are extremely important for the menstrual cycle and uh, helping with menopause. Correcting, you know, again, it's always correcting. The MLS, I'm glad they threw that in because it is the be all and end all because uh, this combination of plants here in this formulation contains so many of the compounds that are in uh, the other formulations, but also variations of those compounds. And again, there's like 25,000 phytonutrients in botanicals that uh, that we know of so far, and uh, a lot of them are in these botanicals. So then you've got you know glucose metabolism. If you remember early on, you know uh, the hot flashes are the result of all these different malfunctions, including how your body utilizes sugar, how it utilizes fats, and uh, even you know digestive issues. Then you've got the immune system, and it's got all of these. Uh, antioxidants that that will actually help the immune system destroy anything that doesn't belong in the body anything toxic that's causing a problem whether it's a stress chemical your body's producing or uh, something endogenous you know like synthetics or anything like that um, 
improving the blood vessels so that it allows a lot of the nutrients going through the, the circulatory system, in, uh, clearing out the lungs so you've got uh, improved respiratory problems, uh, respiratory systems, and then and clearing out the, the brain from synthetics also. Uh, a lot of these synthetics cross the blood-brain barrier, you know, and uh, a lot of these phytonutrients will actually bind to these toxic chemicals and allow the body to eliminate them. So yeah, antimicrobial, you know, uh, anti-inflammatory, urinary system protection from the proanthocyanins. So, you know, we're covered. Uh, if you want vitality, then I would definitely, you know, get this kit because it covers it all. It's just so impressive. Then of course the power apricot and uh, men can take this too. I mean, if you've got a lot of these, uh, these plant sterols that are in there, the men aren't going to be producing more estrogen unless they're not exercising and they're 90 years old. Then their bodies are going to shift into producing more estrogen because without exercise then uh, and, their, and their muscles are diminishing with age, they're not going to uh, be producing a lot of the testosterone. But if you're 90, start a little weight training program if, if you can, uh, and uh, then your body will start producing the, 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 uh, the testosterone. Women need testosterone too. We can't be estrogen dominant, God help us. You know, we've got to have the, uh, the, the balance of different hormones so that we can also maintain our muscles. That's what gives you the great figures, right? Muscles give you curves <laughs> um, and, and body fat covers the curves, right? So shifting your, your ratio of body fat to lean body mass is very important so that you have more energy and your body doesn't store toxins, you know, that kind of thing. So yes, the power apricot, combine it with the power, you know, lemon, both men and women can do that because of all of these different compounds based on your gender, your DNA knows how to build the right kinds of hormones that you need for your particular gender. Okay, um, oh, we got another one, relax, yeah. You said that this one was uh, the first one that you tried, Julia? This is the very first one that I tried and I have to laugh. I, I'll never forget it. I I, I I was so skeptical and my husband popped it in my mouth. He's like, you need to sleep. So he popped it in my mouth and I was like, oh no, no, this is nothing. This is nothing. And I woke up about four hours later, wiping my drool off my face i i was able to sleep it really calmed my brain down and it's not a sleep inducing you know product but what, what it did is it, it allowed my brain to slow down it was so powerful and now i use this every single night without fail but even sometimes when anxiety or stress comes on and i do have a question about that but but keep going because i'm i'm enthralled <laughs> and we do have a couple questions that people are asking here in the chat as well which i know we'll yes. get to at the end as well definitely we have to do that i we have to have the questions you know i know people have so many questions and i want to answer every single one of them but uh this is answering a lot of questions as we go along but basically you know like i said what do we have to do all we have to do the million dollar question anybody Sleep, sleep, <laughs> sleep, 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 sleep. <laughs> nourish, 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 you know, rest, 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 have fun. That's another thing that we need to throw into the mix. Got to have fun. It uh, generates so many of these happy hormones when you have fun or you find something funny, you know, kind of thing. Um, so yeah, the RLX is so important for just calming everything down, nourishing it so that it can be calmed down naturally and normally right? And if you're doing everything else right, then by the time nighttime comes around, all right, your body is ready to, to rest and sleep and regenerate and recuperate, right? So yeah, it covers all these different body systems, all 10 of the major body systems, uh, just like the MLS does. Most of them do, or at least, you know, uh, different ones depending on the formulation. But yeah, this will cover every single body system in, in a different way that MLS does, because again, it's different combinations of these plants that have different combinations of these compounds, subclassifications of the major compounds or the, the major ones. So yeah, there's always a, a different mix in each formulation. They might do the same thing, but not really. I mean, the body is so vastly complex. It finds so many different ways. Mul this is multiple trillions of ways to uh, to correct and maintain itself and protect itself. So then uh, we don't have to go through this, Julia. I just threw in a couple of things, like I've been talking about hydrate and uh, the different uh, ways to understand why hydration is so important. And then we've got uh, metabolism, you know, and energy production with the vitamins and minerals and the phytonutrients in the plants. 
uh, you know, all that. And then anti-aging, the many beneficial effects of exercise, why, you know, exercise is so important, just producing the young hormones, the, the growth hormone is the master hormone that the, uh, that the, 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 the glands produce so that uh, your body, your cells are younger, you know, biologically younger, even if they're not chronologically younger. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, things that happen into this wonderful shifting of a, a more youthful body when you exercise. And then always know how much oxygen you're able to take in. So these are the VO2 max. And, uh, you know, this will explain how to go about doing that. I literally, I saw that and I immediately took a deep breath. <laughs> it's just amazing. It made me want to want to breathe deeper. So the, the, yes. the, the hottest question right now that everyone has for you, the big question that we all have um, is, I'm going to switch this back over to gallery view. The big question that we all have is how can we get a copy of these slides? Okay, Where so um, the slides are only available through the video, but I put the slides uh, from my slideshow uh, on this document for the kit. And I'll be doing that for every kit because, you know, it's nice to have the video, but not everybody's going to you know, make the time to, to view the video if you want them to watch the video, right? So handing them, uh, you know, the some of these sheets or maybe the whole thing, make a book out of it. This is like 27 pages Listen, long. I know. I can't I, help it's myself. Perfect. Yeah, you are so thorough. And for all of us who need to know this information, it is impactful and empowering because you've just given us something at, the, at our fingertips to help us make better choices. And I know that that's where your heart is and where you you're thinking about that. So that's amazing. And tell us your book. Could you could you please share where we can get your book? Because I have it. I have them. <laughs> and I'm not sharing <laughs> mine. <laughs> so where can everyone else get their copies? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just read this part about the sunlight. That is oh, so sure. important. Don't be afraid of sunlight. Uh, there's a balance between, you know, uh, this will explain it all. Please cover this. It's very, very important. Don't be afraid of too much sunlight. Uh, just to have, get a little bit of sunlight, you know, and uh, yeah, it'll explain that. Uh, it'll help your sleep on all kinds of things, right? So yeah, I got carried away. But <laughs> Oh, not at all. That is just beautiful information. And, and look at the reference guide. Yeah. It's incredible. I absolutely, I, I'm a, that NCBI and the NIH guys, I, I, that's my rabbit hole that I go down. I can't, I yes. can't stop reading the NIH. I'm a Marylander, so it's, we're near NIH. So I think that must be why. Oh, <laughs> that yeah, is the yeah. rabbit hole. I love that so much, Mary Esther. That is beautiful. Look at that. And then your <laughs> books are there. This, this is terrific. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The slideshows are based on the research I did for the book. So, Definitely, you know, we want to get the book because it's got the FUD power, you know, the uh, true health, the uh, eating for physical, excuse me, which one is it? The um, potent superfoods for lifelong true health. I had to look at my shelf. <laughs> Sometimes I forget my own you well, know, your titles are so are. long. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your cheat sheets. That's incredible. Yeah. So can I yeah. ask a few questions? Is that is that okay? Sure. Okay. Absolutely. All, books, Fire away. Where can we get your books? All right, here we go. I always add this page at the last of every PDF. So you'll always have the website um, and you can download all the, the, the documents that, that uh, I prepare for our calls right there. You can just download them. They're always updated, uh, holisticchoices.com slash APL. Uh, and then if you want to examine the books that I've written, here's the Putin Superfoods for Lifelong True Health. It has all the botanicals that are in the formulations and then some. And then it has the uh, the dictionary hybrid uh, encyclopedia section that defines all the terms that are in the book. You can't get away from the science when you're talking about the human body and, and nourishing it. And then also there are uh, all the references too. There's a whole huge section on all the scientific references. You know, the references uh, that I use for this presentation are, are short compared to, uh, I think there's over a thousand in there. I've never counted them. But anyhow, um, yeah, if you want to learn my, my nutritional system, you know, it's got uh, 14 categories. And so choosing foods from every category by the end of the day will get you there. So yeah, oh, wow. it's uh, absolutely, fantastic. I've been using that for decades. I used to use it on all of my clients when I had my practice and I still use it when I, you know, when I do uh, teach once in a while, but yeah, um, in my Institute, that's going to be launching as soon as I possibly can, uh, I'll be presenting a course on this system. 
And then also my eating for physical power and stamina. It's also good for people who just want to shift their body, their body ratios from lower body fat to more lean, you know, um, uh, body mass. So this will tell you how to do it too. This is for athletes, but everyone likes it anyway, because they, it's valuable. That's how I was able to maintain a, a lower body fat and, and better muscle when I was a bodybuilder in the 80s. And even when I stopped being you know, having those monster workouts in the 80s, I still continued to weight train, not, not like I did before, but it's still, you know, I still have bone density. I don't have any uh, joint problems. I mean, uh, I'm still able to run, uh, you know, all this, these impacting exercises, nothing. Uh, I don't have any issues. I'll be 70 in November. And I feel, I don't know, 40, 30, maybe. I don't know. But nothing, nothing I don't think hurts. anyone would have ever guessed you were going to be 70 <laughs> in November. Oh, my heavens. That's amazing. Yes, your it, body it works. is chronologically works. young, right? Um, so, right Yeah, here. I think so. Absolutely. But yeah, I mean, just do everything in the above, you know, that we talked about. And you will have this fountain of youth. And you'll feel fantastic. You'll have all this energy, you know, all your mental faculties. You won't be losing them kind of thing. It's just amazing. Truly, the body is so amazing. But yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's tons of YouTube uh, videos there and they, they get duplicated over on Rumble. All right. So that's pretty much what I have to share with you. Well, thank you so much. I, I did put into the chat a few links for everyone so that I can make sure that you all get those links. couple questions that I wanted to go back to. And this is I know you can be quick on this one is um, if I'm using grow, which is for energy and things like that, and I'm using some of the other um, products that are in the vitality kit for de-stressing and for sleep, like happy and relax, how are they not fighting? How's there not a battle? So there, I know there's a synergy. So could you explain it's synergistic? It's not a, they're not fighting against each other? Absolutely not. Again, we have multiple trillions of cells and even more multiple trillions of biochemical processes going on every minute, every second that we're alive. And it needs all of those, the vastness of all those, those uh, molecules that are in these compounds. Um, so, you know, we can ingest a lot of these foods, the body digests them and gets them down to that tiny micronutrient level so that it, it will enter our cell membrane and enter the the world where we produce energy and uh you know replicate our cells uh, again you know maintaining those telomeres uh all sorts of different uh our body repurposes things it rebuilds molecules it disassembles molecules it needs those nutrients in these plants to to perform all of those vastness so nothing is going to be wasted the body is very intelligent that way if it doesn't belong in in there, it will reject it. It'll it'll create this chain reaction of uh, you know uh, of inflammation, and uh, the immune system will go in and just devour anything that doesn't belong there, or attach itself to to something that's synthetic and allow the body to eliminate it. It's just amazing the way it does that, and you know it's all done at the at the molecular and atomic, you know, electrical level, sub quantum energy level. So we never really see what's going on. All we all we can see is the results at the on the surface, right at the macro level. Uh, so this is uh, never be afraid to 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 combine all these foods. Your body will make use of it, guaranteed. That is beautiful. That was such a great description. I know everyone's going to just take that clip right out of the YouTube and share that with others because that is such a great uh, answer. Uh, another question I have here is, you know, and this is a common question. How long does it take for the average person to notice or feel an impact once using the product? And I know that's a trick question because for me it was seconds. I just explained <laughs> it was in my mouth and I was I was feeling the effect. So what what happens to a lot of people? Did you dissolve it before you fell asleep, Julia? No. I, <laughs> it's okay. I, I hardly got in a lick. It was it was really impactful for me. It was, I, in, in the beginning, it was probably about three or four licks on an, an on an RLX, and I would start to get really relaxed. I I am so impressed with that product. It just if if we had nothing but RLX, and although a lot of people can tell you that they know that Grow and GTS that made my hair grow, that's that's usually the ones that people ask me about the most more than RLX. But people yeah. would ask me, how do you take an energy product and the sleep product? but they're synergistic and that's what's yeah. so amazing. And then 
I added in HPY happy and people are like, well, what does that do? And I don't know what it doesn't do. It's just amazing. The de-stressing has changed my life in every possible way. Just like you said, laughter. You said, you know, it's laughter is the best medicine, but maybe sleep is, but then sunshine comes, you know, it's all the, it's, it's all of the above action, <laughs> all the things, right. It, it all goes along. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, so how long does it take? What would you, how would you answer that question? Depends on uh, a lot of things. Depends on how how sick the body is, how much it has degenerated. You're going to notice uh, uh, it'll the body has a pr system of priorities. It protects the brain and the nervous system first of all, and the vital organs, and then it will address other issues in the body, like uh, you know the the connective tissues and the muscles and things like that that aren't uh, life threatening if something goes wrong, right? Uh, the spinal cord is extremely important too, so it'll it'll go towards those systems first if you have those issues and the the more tissue damage there has been the more dna damage there has been the longer it's going to take for all of those repair mechanisms is uh in those botanicals to go to work and start repairing you know and re and helping the body regenerate uh properly all of that genetic code so if your cells are not replicating uh properly then it's going to lose a lot of that quality genetic uh code you know, all the instructions that make the whole body operate. So it'll take time to do all of that repair work. You know, like if you're hospitalized from, uh, God forbid, a, a car accident and you've got multiple injuries, of course, you're not going to be out walking out of that hospital the next day, you know. But if you're, uh, your body's repairing a lot of the damaged DNA and a lot of the damaged uh, tissues and structures, you know, and, and not producing the right hormones or enzymes, you know, all these different biochemicals, uh, and it's still producing the stressors, you know, the the, uh, the reactive oxygen species and other stressors, the cytokines, you know, all these inflammatory proteins that go in when there's something wrong. So it'll take time to correct all of that. But if you're kind of healthy, you know, or if you're feeling fine and uh, you just want to spruce up your health a little bit, then you might notice something right away. Depends on what the body's doing at any given moment. Uh, but, I, you know, like the relax is very profound that way, or even the ice, you know it will uh, correct something that's wrong in the digestive system that's not in the vitality kit but uh but you know things like that so it will you will notice it, it's all very uh, individual you know you will notice uh something if you don't notice it just know that it is doing something uh you may not feel it but it's doing something your body will not reject these nutrients at all i am a testament to that and if you go back and look at pictures of me, I, I often show a picture of me and my friend, Nurse Brenda, who's on the call right now, from mm -hmm. the week before we were introduced to this product and from July of last year. And we look like completely different people. And Wonderful. Every, the more you use it, the more benefits you feel. And you don't even know what's happening in your body. The, the, there was a question here. How do you measure and confirm, you know, and, and correct? How do you how do you know what's going on? I mean, for me. If I were to answer that question, although I want to hear your answer, obviously, but for me personally, um, my annual physical told me everything I needed to know. Blood work, <clears throat> the scale, friends telling me, wow, you haven't had a migraine in a while. Um, again, my hair growing 14 inches in two months, you know, like literally I had visible changes, but I also had so many other changes and they just keep getting better and better and better and better and better. But how would you answer that question? That's a perfect answer. So yeah, the body's going to work and it's going to continue to do what it can to perfect itself. It loves to, uh, to head toward optimal health vibrancy, restore itself and uh, just to be alive. You know, this is what's so exciting about this. To see the transformations, that is the, it makes me emotional. You know, I always want to cry when I have, when I see this happening. I'm so happy for you, Julia. Man. So happy for you, nurse, nurse uh, Brenda, right? Yes. Yes. yes it's yes. true. She's and looking great. I mean, <laughs> and I everyone else. On. Yeah, exactly. We're, it's, we're Benjamin Buttons. I mean, we need to change the <laughs> name of the product from APL Go to Benjamin Buttons because that's where we all are. Um, <laughs> I did get, Good we one. did also get a question, um, which was about COPD and, um, and we know that air is, is in the product and we saw about how beauty could affect, um, our bodies that way too. And then of course MLS, but, um, the question is, is not necessarily how, but what, um, will COPD be affected by our products? Yes. Uh, we have to get to the causes of COPD. 
you know, all these uh, particulates that we breathe in, the immune system getting weakened, uh, the form forming of uh, that phlegm, you know, that's overwhelming, full of white blood cells in there too. I mean, all of this is uh, obstructing the airways. So the enzymes, the phytonutrients, the uh, the improvement of how the immune system goes in there and starts eating away, the phagocytes just start eating away all this mucus stuff, you know, that's clogging everything. Uh, the synthetics that you're exposed to, if it's something that in the workplace, uh, you know, uh, all these uh, toxic chemicals that also obstruct and, and clog all of the circulatory pathways, including the lungs, you know, all of this uh, will add up and, and cause a condition like this. And so uh, who knows what else, you know, uh, causes this condition. But that's from, from what I've seen and from what I've uh, done in the research as far as what botanicals and their nutrients can do to uh, to clear those pathways then uh, you can be sure that the body is going to take what it needs when it sees it and go to work to fix it. That is an amazing answer. Thank you. Um, again, I guess this uh, question is asked again, so I'll ask it so that maybe you can answer it specifically. Um, how would a person get objective data to verify and prove which products are actually working versus objective feedback? Okay. All right. So. Um, get that book all the details i mean the slideshows that, that you saw today are just the tip of the iceberg when you get the book as you can attest to those of you who have it um you'll know how much research has gone into that book and how uh even the the two pages you know normally of each botanical and what science has found is just a a summary that's why i include all of those references, because not only does that protect us and the company as far as not, uh, you know, claiming to practice medicine without a license, it protects everyone, it protects the company. Uh, the FDA laws are very specific. You know, if you can't prove scientifically that something is working, then uh, it's illegal or they disapprove, you know, uh, and they can give a company a hard time. Uh, I've seen entire companies shut down overnight. Uh, for, you know, supposedly violating uh, these FDA laws or guidelines. But uh, there's a lot of great areas there. But as long as you have solid scientific evidence, um, the book has overwhelming uh, evidence. Every single reference scientific citation in the book are peer-reviewed studies. So those peer-reviewed studies have examined hundreds and sometimes a couple of thousand, you know, uh, scientific researchers that have concluded uh, these things about the health, uh, the health, uh, uh, attributes and health benefits of these botanicals. Okay, so yeah, I mean, the products themselves have not been tested by uh, an independent, uh, uh, you know, entity that shows that, okay, if you take this drop, then this will be healed. That hasn't been done yet. Uh, it's not often done. It's very difficult to get that, that uh, distinction. But we can talk about the science. We can talk about what happens at the cell level. Nourishment at the cell level is where it's at. Like Linus Pauling said, 99% of the health problems are right at that cellular level. You correct what's going on, what's going wrong at the cell level with these nutrients, and uh, then you see results. You know, that's uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is very important to know, to know, to to get all of this information. That's why I'm so passionate about it. I'm gathering data all the time. I never stop. You know, and so, uh, I mean, there's, I have a whole list of things that I want to produce on a video so that I can educate people out there. And when I opened my, my online institute, True Health Mastery Institute of uh, Holistic Nutritional Health Management, it's going to be a private uh, membership, you know, for $12.97 a month. You'll be getting this kind of information and then some uh, wow. because there's so much more I can say when we're not being monitored by the FDA. If it's a private membership, I can present some real science and uh, just dis dis discount a lot of things that are uh, that are that are being told in the way of misinformation or disinformation. There's so much out there. If you try to do a search on the internet on any specific botanical or any subject whatsoever, uh, you have to type in Science Journal, and that will come uh, bring up you know the uh, the peer-reviewed studies right away, and that's what you want to look at, and that's where, why uh, I put all of that in my book. And just to recap, or just to share with everyone, do you still offer private consultations if we reach out to you? Um, I was doing that, you know, once I got involved with APL Go, but it was uh, kind of disrupting 
my goal of reaching more people. I love doing the, the one-on-ones. I did that for 30 years. And when I retired my practice from Northern California and moved to Arizona, I decided to just reach more people uh, with the same information, but to just reach more people, you know? So that's why I'm opening the Institute. It'll be so much more enriching and people will become, they will be able to transform their health and truly master their health. You know? that so is- that's what my goal is. Amazing. You're, you're making yourself even more accessible. So I hope everyone took note of that. I certainly did. Uh, that was really, really amazing. Thank you so much. We did have a question also about some other specific um, issues and That's health good. issues and things like that. I know that people will probably reach out to you, but it doesn't. Um, I, I do want to say that I know we were really focused on the women's vitality kit this evening. Um, the other the other question was regarding um, epileptic seizures. Um, and can you recommend any specific um, drops for epileptic seizures, children, in children? Okay. This is, this is getting into the practicing medicine without a license, you know, area. Okay, so, so let's we're going to move. We're gonna, no, we're I, gonna can move right. I can okay. answer. <laughs> safely. I can answer it safely. I can answer it safely, yeah. <laughs> I Beautiful. mean, if you were to look up at, uh, ep- epileptic <laughs> seizures, uh, you know, you'll get uh, all of the, the different uh, uh, the hospitals, right, that that put out information, and it'll give you a whole bunch of information about what causes seizures like that. And I have found that when clients have come to me and they're they're having these problems, or their children are, then you look at the side effects of their medications. And I have found that so many times it was the side effects that were causing the seizures that happened with uh, a family member. So I, it's really close to home, you know? So I was able to observe it firsthand. And when that person ceased taking the medication, um, then the seizures were never came back, you know, kind of thing. So I'm not telling someone to get off medications. That would be dangerous. And we're not going to go there. Don't even go there. You know, just tell your doctor what's going on. But um, it's a nervous system disruption or malfunction. And when you nourish the nervous system, and that includes the full range of nutrients that I have in my nutritional synergy system, by the way, it's the, the types of uh, quality fats that calm down and nourish the nerve cells, the, uh, the nerve cell coatings. Uh, once the body is taking in the wrong fats, the, the nerve cell coatings that protect the nerve cell and allow it to function in the way it's supposed to function and transmitting the electrical signals from cell to cell throughout the entire system, then once that is damaged, then uh, the nervous system becomes very malfunctioned. And when it starts happening at a massive scale, then you've got tissue degeneration, you've got all these disruptions, right? And uh, sometimes uh, the scientific literature has found that, that that's one of the causes of the seizures. So, uh, I mean, not to mention as you age, or even if you don't age, you start losing your memory and, you know, all these different uh, things that happen when the nerve cells are are damaged or coated with the plasticized gunk of the wrong types of fats. I mean, there's so many different answers, so many different ways to answer this. But uh, basically, you just want to nourish that body and uh, get rid of the the synthetics and the plasticized fats, the, the trans fats, the plastics, hydrogenated, you know, all those things. Uh, they clog the arteries, they harden the arteries, they obstruct the pathways, all the microcirculatory systems in all the different, uh, the glands, you know, and the lymph nodes. More health problems were caused from these types of wrong fats in the diet than anything else I ever found in the 30 years I was, you know, con- consulting my clients. So, yeah, um, we can't really answer, you know, the epileptic seizures, but if you nurse the child in all the ways we talked about today, then uh, it's bound to improve because the DNA will recognize that information, calm the nervous system down, not sedate, just calm it down so it doesn't misfire and and, uh, will repair whatever needs repairing in that nervous system. That is such a beautiful answer. Thank you so much. And you know Mm -hmm. what? With that, um, I do want to wrap up, which, which stinks. You know, we could stay here all night and I know everyone would, but we're already at 921. We're at 21 after the hour. And I want to thank you guys so much. I want to, first of all, thank Mary Esther Gilbert. Everybody put in your your claps and your hearts, please, into the chat to thank Mary Esther Gilbert for her time, her knowledge, her vast knowledge, and for sharing. I mean, just knowing that you know so much and you're willing to share with us, it's so incredible to me. 